When I go back to India, I feel at home. There's always a worry in the back of my head that this will be the last time I see my grandma. Every chance that I get, I want to cherish it. I was 12 when we moved, so I still have loads of memories of India. India is a beautiful chaos. In Canada, it's much more ordered. My job's pretty hectic. I manage over 50 buildings in downtown Toronto. There is not much time for a social life. I've been unsuccessful in love. It's not an easy thing to go through. I met Garish about a year ago, and this has been one of the best years of my life. I want my grandma's blessing so that we can get married. She has no idea about Girish. Just introducing him to my family. I'm going to be a little bit nervous doing that. My mother, when she knows that Chitra is arriving, she brings the uh, roses, make a petals, put it every corner. She wants it to, you know, when she walks, she walks on the rose petals. But she's for her, she's angel. So I said, welcome, Prithi. A welcome is a very important gesture in our family, or in Indian culture, I should say. My family always goes a notch higher. <laughs> I feel like every grandchild should have their grandparents close to them. It's tough not to be able to see her every day. I can't wait to see her. No matter how many years I've been away, home will always be in death.